Hello and welcome. So uh, this is going to be a new series that I've I kind of want to do. Um, hopefully I'll be able to release it on like a more of a scheduled timeline because I've never done that before. So you know, once a week or twice a week or once a month, who knows? We'll see um, how time permits me to get the footage out and whatnot. But basically, uh, I'm going to play through on Project Ninety Nine um, and pretty much just give a commentary over any entertaining or interesting shit that I find along the way. So, yeah. As you can see, <laughs> I've chosen to do this with an Ixar monk. Um, probably not the, the easiest choice. Actually, quite the opposite. Um, pro possibly one of the hardest races to choose to, to do this with. But, um, I've always really liked Ixars and I've kind of always wanted to to take the challenge of playing them back before there was easy transport and, and ways to get around um, every other race in the game hating them and killing them on sight. But um, I am playing a monk which has a very interesting and fun tool set which should help me um, with some of those problems along the way anyway. Stuff like, you know, monks uh, can use hand to hand so they don't actually, I mean, Weapons are good, but they can use their fists for fairly comparable weapons, um, if need be. And they have shit like Feign Death, which is just one of the coolest abilities in the game. Um, they can mend. Uh, its ability gives them a chance to mend some of their wounds or some of the damage that they've taken. Uh, they get Safe Fall, so you can fall from fairly high distances and take less damage. They can Sneak, uh, which can help them just I guess moving around and it also is a useful tool for when you're trying to pull for groups and then of course the best thing you get sweet ass fly kicks and shit so you know go monks so I'm in the field of bone right now uh, the most common starting area I suppose for uh, new Ixar players Be I guess because Ixars are in such a secluded area of the world and so far from everyone else um, they do get a bit of variety early on so you can come out here where I am which is where most people go because you are bound just at the front gate so when you die you spawn here anyway but um, there are two other zones on either side of the city that you can also grind in from level one uh, the first being Warslisk Woods which is from you, you get in you get to there from West Cabalus and then the other being the the swamp of no hope um, which you can enter from East Cabalus which is the same side you enter the field of bone from but I definitely say this is the easiest one to, to come in at level um, lots of nice newbie quests in here decaying skeletons pretty much want to farm them like just if you ever see one just kill it get the bone chips you can hand in bone chips four at a time for some nice xp same with scorpions um just kill them you get their pincers you can hand them in four at a time for xp great hand in quests um pretty much where i am right now you don't really want to go any further out than this um you can stay you stay on the grass quite safe lots like mobs everywhere you're not, not going to really run out even if there are a whole bunch of people here you do have to be careful though um target everything before you attack it and make sure you con it because there are high some random high level mobs that just kind of wander through um for instance there's there's these skeletons there's like militia skeletons and greater scale bones that will just like randomly wander through the decaying skeletons and they're like 10 levels higher than what these guys are and if you they look exactly the same so there's been plenty of times where I've just kind of run up and been like, oh, like, why is this guy not dying in two hits? And the next thing I'm, I know, I'm on like 20% health and then I'm dead, so. Another great thing about the skeletons is they, uh, they carry weapons. Usually as, as a monk, I have to watch my weight. And when I first started playing, you know, I was doing the whole destroying my copper and not picking up rusting weapon weapon rusty weapons stuff like that because monks get an AC penalty the the more they carry like they have to keep their weight under a certain threshold but then I figured you know when you 
just brand new, you're kind of establishing a character. It doesn't really matter, you know, you, I'm level 4 right now, these things are level 2. The, the AC penalty of like 5 that I get for carrying too much is like insignificant. So, yeah, pick up their weapons, um, sell them, they sell for a couple of gold each. If you ever see one with a shield, <laughs> just like, I, if I see one with a shield, I'll hightail it through the field, not even caring if I aggro everything along the way, because the shields sell for over a platinum each. Uh, very good for, you know, early establishing your character. Because, again, you're playing in Ixar, you're out. Cabalus is in the middle of nowhere, so... Even if you have another character that has money, uh, getting that money and items to your, your newbie Ixar is, is going to prove to be quite challenging. Unless you have, like, a friend that can port here or some shit. So, right there, that's a, that's a malicious skeleton. He's he's yellow to me at level 4. Um, oh, shit, I, I'm going to... I guess I'll try and fight him, but I'll, I'll show you, he's, he's going to wreck me. Um, I could run, but there's no way I'd make it. I don't have the Spirit of Wolf, and the guards are too far away. But luckily, because I'm level 4, there is no XP penalty just quite yet. I think you start getting XP penalties from dying um, once you hit level 5. So, I will die here, but... Oh, well, that's a good... Um, good demonstration of, of why you should constantly target stuff and before you attack it. Okay, uh, I've run down here, retrieved my corpse. Um, I guess I'll go, I'll go show you where to hand in the bone chips and uh, sell and whatnot. But um, yeah, that's pretty much Field of Bone. Um, from 1 to 5, you just stay in this area. Like I said, you can stay up there on the grass. You don't have to come down here onto the dirt. If you go to the left or the right, there's plenty of mobs. Um, uh, like I said, just farm up skeletons, really good. Scorpions, really good. Um, pups, also, I guess, again, watch out for... C there's, there's some called cubs. I don't know why they're called cubs, because they're like dogs. But the scaled wolf cubs, they're slightly higher as well. So it's the same deal with the skeletons. If you can run along and be attacking one, and then all of a sudden it's like wrecking you because it's a high level. So just up a bit towards Cabalus, um, merchants through here. Also, the guy he hand scorpion pincers in, into, he's just up here, his, his name is Warlord something. I don't know, you can spot him, he's wearing like chainmail, has a funny hat. But um, yeah, if you hand four in at a time to him, get some good XP. Um, and then just down by the gate, I'll show you that after I've sold. Um, one of the, the guards on the gate is a dude you hand bone chips into. So right here at the front of Cabalus, this trooper Mozo, um, you can talk to him, he goes on about killing skeletons, but he's the guy you can hand in um, bone chips to, give him four at a time. Um, use control left click to get stacks of one on your cursor. Don't stack them when you give them to him, otherwise you can lose, uh, it won't work. But yeah, uh, you get like seven silver or something like that. And um, obviously the XP is better at level one, but it's, you know, hurt right now. What else are you going to do with them? Unless you're a necromancer. So there you go guys. That's uh, Field of Bone 1 to 5. Grind it out. Um, that'll pretty much do it for this week. Uh, I'm going to try and release these once a week. So if you liked it, um, hit subscribe. I'll try and put them out every Friday. Also, um, throw me a comment. I love, I love hearing comments. I try and look at them all and respond and stuff. Um, but yeah, I just I love any, any sort of feedback. But yeah, I guess um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.